Welcome viewers to Soft Academy, a software engineering academy. Today I am going to discuss with you about estimate weightages in Primavera P6 and total top-down estimations. How can you apply your top-down estimation to calculate your labor units and non-labor units? So, what are estimated weightages? I will tell you in activities and in WBA stages. And how can you import your weightages from your Excel to Primavera P6? That is uh, very important. How can you because estimate weightages is a star value and star value cannot be imported. So I will give you a trick. How can you convert your star value from your global change option? So here I will open my Primavera P6. That is very, very important content. So why we calculate estimated weightages? So every activity have a weightage in his content. Every activity have a weightage in a project. So that activity weight will be same till the loss of project. Maybe at some time the activity may take a longer time, but weightages are dependable on its cost. For example, an activity taking more cost have a more weightages. Maybe it have a more labor units or may, maybe it have a more labor cost. So let's consider that we have a project and we have fixed some weightages. We have fixed some labor units for each content, each unit. We have to assume or we have to calculate our units from our cost. First of all, this method is working. But if you cannot calculate your productivity and productivity rate from your cost or from VOQ, so there is one method from which you can calculate your estimated weightages and you can apply uh, sum up with top down estimation and you can apply on your whole of the project. So here this one I have a project which values 24,100. Let me show you how can I calculate my estimated weightages. I will press control A. I will copy this one. I will go here and I will paste in Excel. First of all, I will tell you about how to calculate your estimate weightages. You can calculate estimated weightages from your total budgeted cost from your units also. So if I calculate my total budget cost units from total budget cost. So there is some issue. There is a dollar sign appearing here. So I don't want dollar appear dollar sign here. I will go here in the user preferences and you can see my all settings lecture and in setting lecture I have told you everything about that one currency. You can remove that that sign decimal also. You can remove decimal also from the currency signature. So if you want to remove your hour signature, you can move from there. So there will be hour not appear here. So you can also use that one column. Also units also. Thick. So here I will go here and there is a first column and these are WBS. These are WBS. I will go here and I will add a filter here. Filter. So this one is my total sum up. I will press is equal to this one divided by this I 12 and then I will make a dollar sign with it. This dollar sign will use until the last. Now I will go here and I will press this one with 100%. And now I will go here and apply to all. So all values are now updated here. You can see all the values are now updated here. And now what we will do, we will just go here and change it to two decimal. And you can see there is the values are in two decimal. So this one weightages I have calculated already. So this weightages I will use to put into my project in each stages. So here we can go here and from here you can see I can show only my WBS from here by clicking blanks. So these are WBS weightages. These are our WBS weightages and the other ones are activity weightages. And if I, I want to show my activity weightages, I will go here and I will click this one. I will move the blank. These are my activity weightages. So I, here I have calculated my weightages from my total cost. So if I want to calculate my labor 
units. So I will do the same, which I have applied the formula for the previous one. If you don't have an available total units, so you can get it from your BOQ. There is total cost of your BOQ. You can calculate the weightages of each event or each activity from your BOQ and you can create activities like that one and you can divide your total cost by each activity to calculate your weightages here. So first of all, we have created weightages in Excel. Here, the first step is done. Now, what we will do, we will import that weightages into our parameter P6. Then we will apply that weightages to calculate our units at different stages and we will apply to calculate our increase in cost or increase in units or non-labor units. I will show you step by step. First of all, I will go right click here and in the columns, I will add here an estimate weightage column. Right click here. That one column is. So here I will go. I will type estimate weightages. Estimate weightage. Press OK. So here you can see the column estimate weightage every activity have one. So one means this activity is 100%, 100%, 100%. So no weightages are applied here. If there is value is like point something 3.2, 3.4, then there is a percentage assigned to that activity. So we will assign first of all the percentage to activity. Also, we have to same assign these percentages to there also. I will go here, I will add here a column like the same estimate weightage estimate weightage like in activities so here i will go and find that one estimate weightage press ok apply ok so here you can see the weightage is same so wbs cannot be imported from excel so that's why i will put manually this one estimated weightages but activities we can import but that there is a trick we cannot directly import but there is trick so here I will go in the file, I will export my this Excel file into XLS file, next, then activities, next, so export, next, then there is, I have created a top down estimation template. I will modify to show you what I have added in this one. So activities, in activities here, in weight percent, I have added here a weight percent column. So from where I get this weight percent column, I will show you from where I get this weight percent column. I will go here directly, I will move this one. I will go here in the enterprise, I will go in the user defined field. I will create first of all some columns, weight percent for labor units, weight percent for labor units, you can create for labor and non-labor, weight percent for labor. So also you can create for non-labor. And this one I have to convert into number. This one you will create into your number. This one I have already created weight percent number. I will remove that one. I will use that one. I will close this one. I will go here again. I will repeat the same steps. I have told you this one I will do fastly. Top down estimation, modify that one. Now I will add here my weight percent column here weight percent labor now i will just don't use any other column only weight percent labor weight percent labor i need that one only i need that one no need start no need finish no other column i needed only activity name and okay press okay go next next finish so now i have created that column of estimate weightage weightage percent of labor now i will open that file which i have created the file is opening now so in this file i have created a weight percent labor here in a weight percent labor i will put my weightages which i have created here so now how will i put there i will go here i will apply this filter and that blank i will remove first that the blank when it removed that wbs will be not shown here i will go here and i will just copy that one file and i will just go here and paste into values and then select that one and i will go here right click here and format that values format cell and into text here when i go here in the text press ok this file is going to text control s save and close this file if you don't close it will not import it here file and first of all i will 
go here in the column i will add that column from here from there is appear in user defined field and in user defined field go to w and where w weight percent labor so you can put that weight percent labor to your system so this one weight percent labor is added here you can see 0.00, .00 numbers i will go here and import that file which i have changed i will go in the spreadsheet next i will go next select the file from desktop there is a file which i have changed already open that file next activities next here it's appearing in update existing project i will say yes update that project next finish so now you can see your all the weightages of 100 percent labor are added here now what we will do we will go in the wbs and now we will update wbs weightages i will go here and i will just see the my blanks i will check my blanks now the blanks all the blanks are appearing now 100 first of all 100 the next one is 0 0 weightage and next one is 16.6 16.6 the next one is 83.4 83.4 and the next one is 48.2 and the next one is 35.1 and the next one is 0 and the next one is 0. So here you can see I have updated my WBS activities. I have imported the weightage person labor but it's not updated here in estimate weighted. That is the our the perfect column where it is star value and star value cannot be updated as I told you. Global change will go here and we will create a global change. Update, update, we we'll create a global change update, estimate, weightage and here I will add my value, weight, percent, weight, Estimate weight, estimate weight is equal to weight percent labor. I will go here and change. When you click on change, the old value is 111111. Now it will be updated to 2.3, 14.3, and these are values. When you commit the changes, it will say, Do you want to save the log? You say no. If you are using its first time, there will be error appear in your system. It will say that you cannot change your this column to this column because some activities cannot be converted from 0 to 1. So that's why there will be first time appear, but second time you will cross that error and next time it will be used. I will press OK. I have committed the changes. So you can see here the uh, weightages are updated 2.3, 14.3 all the weightages are updated here you can see all the weightages are updated here these one weightages are 0 0 0 14.3 1.2 to 32.29 so every weightages are now changed so here my weighted labor units are 2444 what i have to do i have to update it by using top down estimation there is top down estimation so first of all i will assume my total budgeted units are 10,000 and I will apply for my labor this one project so I will say that yes you can see all the estimated units are applied here this one are 10,000 and applied as estimated weightages I have put in here so you can check that one by clicking the old one when I go here 2444 2444 so when I click here and apply you will see again the same weightages will be applied 40656 i will see from here 40656 2444 and here 464 there is some changes because you know when there is a percent value 0 0.003 percent value then there will be some changing because you cannot go to least percent there is some precise value for example there is 406 
but here actually 464 because when we calculating this percent or this value there are a lot of points behind that one for example in this, this value there are 16.63 i have just put it 16.6 so that's why if i say that is, is equal to 16.6 16.6 into this one 16.6 of 244 and I will say that 16.6 of 22.44 0 0.16 it will be calculated here the units 406 you can see here 405 because the issue is that issue is that I have haven't done the accurate the percentage value so the conclusion is that when you are putting your weightages at WBS stage so only one decimal is allowed so it cannot be calculated precisely but you can get your near precise value here if you want to put here for example i go here in estimated weightages and i put any value any value which is which is just assume 9857 apply it will be applied for whole whole the project also you can calculate estimate non-labor how you can calculate your estimate non-labor? You can go here and create the same process and you can put the same weightages because non-labor have a different weightages. So you can get that weightages by your own calculation. I have just given you an example. How can I get import from my Excel? I have given you just a trick. How can you use global change and you can convert all the units easily. So this is my today's content. Also make sure when you are importing your file, there is also an error because milestone have only one, always one estimate weightages. So milestone cannot be updated sometimes. So that's why milestone value should be always one. So in my system, I have already changed because that's why it, it's not appearing. So thanks for watching Software Dummy. I hope you like my video. And if you like my video, please press the like option, comment and share. Don't forget to press the bell icon, subscribe, we will meet in the next video. Thanks for watching, Soft to Demi.